Hi, everyone. Happy April. I can't believe how fast the time has gone and that it is already April now. And we have been busy planting a lot of things in our Zone 7 Oklahoma backyard. We've been planting all sorts of things out. And today, we're going to talk all about all of these seeds that you can direct sow in different areas of the country. So we're going to talk about the northern, the central, and the southern, and talk about different things that you can grow right now getting started outside in your area. So first of all, I do want to mention, if you don't already have our From Seed to Spoon app, make sure you check it out and download it today because it will give you exact planting dates based on your location and it'll tell you everything that you can start right now. So you can filter down to all the plants that you can start direct seed outdoors right now. So let's start in the northern area. First of all, I do want to mention lettuce. Any sort of greens right now is going to be great for that time of year up there. It is going to be the perfect time to plant out all sorts of different lettuce varieties. Um, my personal favorites to plant, if you have the time for it, are romaine lettuces. They are so good. I love them. And there's all sorts of different colors too. There's a tricolor blend where you get all sorts of different colors of lettuces. It's a great addition to any garden. Carrots are also a really good addition right now because they do terrific in the cool weather. As, as long as your soil is workable, you can get some carrots direct seeded outdoors right now. And you just need to make sure that they have plenty of space whenever you are planting them out. And that once, keeping them moist while they germinate. And then once they do germinate, make sure you thin them down. So there's only one carrot and they have their own space. So that way they don't get overcrowded and they grow right. And next I want to mention broccoli. So really any sort of brassicas right now you can go ahead and plant out, but broccoli is probably one of my favorites. Broccoli, it, it's a great time of year for broccoli right now. You can plant out all sorts of different varieties. My personal favorites are the sprouting types because they will give you a lot of side shoots of broccoli and then um, it, it's a lot faster too than the traditional head broccoli, which is amazing. And it means less time for something to happen. So for us, I know we like growing those because like you never know when there's going to be a hailstorm randomly coming in and things like that. So you want to make sure that you get time to actually harvest it. So broccoli, I definitely recommend doing a sprouting type. Peas are another terrific addition for your cool season garden up north. So you can still have time, plenty of time to go around and plant out peas. Now you will, for most varieties, need to have some sort of trellis. So right behind me over here, I have a cattle panel set up against a wooden raised bed that I have. And I have peas growing all along this cattle panel trellis right here. I also have some other areas planted out there. I have like patio varieties of peas that don't necessarily need this large of a trellis just as long as they have just a little bit of support they'll be good potatoes are another terrific addition to to your garden up north they are perfect when planted in the cool season because they have plenty of time to grow before it gets too warm outside and we actually have all of our potatoes growing right now we just planted these out not too long ago and we have them growing in these these smart pots these fabric raised beds it makes harvesting them so much easier so what we do whenever we plant these out we fill them up about halfway with soil and then plant our potatoes and then as they grow and they about and they sprout up, which we actually have one over here that is that has just sprouted up. And we start to unroll the sides and add in more compost and soil and fill them up. And then we'll get a lot of potatoes at the end. We can just take pick these up, dump them out, and then do an Easter egg hunt with the kids and try and find all the potatoes. It makes for a really fun activity and you get a lot of potatoes that way. It's a great time of year too to plant out some herbs. So things like parsley that are the cooler ones that will like the cool temperatures. So things like parsley, cilantro, those ones will do really well right now whenever you plant them out. And then kale will also be an amazing addition too. Kale tolerates all sorts of cool temperatures too. We plant our kale here in zone seven in the fall time and actually leave it be and it grows like over the winter too. It survives the entire winter and we get it in the spring too. So it is a great cool season crop. It'll grow really well for you right now. So let's shift gears now to the more central zones that are more encompassing the central part of the country. Now these, there's a lot of great 
crops that you can plant right now. And a lot of them still some of the cool season crops you can do if they are fast growing. Um, but you're starting to traditional or tr uh, transition a little bit more into the warm season things that you can start growing. And I will say too, there's still time to get potatoes in the ground if you are still in the central zones. I know we actually just got ours planted not too long ago, maybe like a week or two ago. So it's not too late, especially for some of the maybe more fast growing varieties. Um, you can get those started right now. Absolutely. And you can even get them started late. It is fine. You can just harvest them when they are younger and immature. They'll just be a lot smaller, which is perfectly fine. They'll still taste amazing. Now, root crops are a great addition to your garden still. And I would say radish, especially because it is a super fast growing one. You can have a harvest of radish in about 30 days or less. Sometimes we actually just harvested some radish today and it, I mean, it's amazing how fast they grow and how amazing they are. We added ours to a stir fry. It was super good. So if you are just one, just starting out and wanting to add something into your garden that is fast, definitely check out radish. And there is still time to plant out lettuce. Don't worry. We have a lot of different varieties too of lettuce that is um, that tolerate warmer temperatures. So we have the summer glory blend, which is actually really good with which will last longer into the summer and tend to last longer than the others and won't bolt or go to seed as fast as the other varieties will. And also you can try and extend your life as well with the lettuce by giving it a little bit of afternoon shade if you have that opportunity to do so. Um, we like to do things like shade cloth or things like that if we want to try and extend some of our cool season and this month in the central zone, you can start to plant out some of your beans outside. So after the last frost, which should hopefully be here soon for most of you guys in the central area. And with beans, again, you want to make sure that you plant them along a trellis and give them plenty of space to grow. So we grow them again along these cattle panel trellises right here. Or we have arch trellises too that we grow them around and they grow up and around. And you can kind of see the beans like falling down from the trellises from the archways so pretty i love it that's probably my favorite way to grow beans now is actually a really good time too to be planting out all your strawberries so whether you're starting your strawberries by seed or by bare root or transplant um if you're doing it by transplant you want to try and wait a little bit closer to your last frost date but if you have bare roots you can go ahead and get them in the ground um i went ahead and planted my bare roots right down here out not too long ago and um you can get those in the ground a little bit sooner than you can like standard transplants and all of that and they're doing amazing so far we have some leaves coming up when it hasn't even been like a week they're in here in like a week or two they're gonna look just like regular transplants i could have gotten from the store one of the great things too about having bare root strawberries or, or transplants is they're already about a year old so we might get some strawberries this year Fingers crossed for us, but you can get start getting strawberries within one to two years after you start strawberries and then one of my favorite brassicas, which is super fast growing and makes an amazing addition to your garden, is kohlrabi. If you haven't grown it before, you definitely need to try it out. It is so unique looking. And the fact that you can eat like the entire plant, it's amazing. I love it. It tastes amazing. We put it in stir fries all the time. Or we just eat it I mean, traditionally just like broccoli. It tastes very similar to broccoli for us. You can eat the leaves or the little tennis ball looking thing that, that you get on the bottom. It's super fun. Um, it is a super fast growing crop as well. For most varieties, you can get a harvest within one to two months. So you still have plenty of time to plant this brassica out if you are in the central area. And in the central area, you can start to plant out a lot of your flowers too. So some of your flowers that you can put out would be things like if you're starting marigold from seed, you can get your seed started for marigold, sweet peas, or um, snapdragons, things like that you can get started out in your garden today. Okay, now to the southern zones. So you all are very lucky. You can plant a lot of the warm season things already, which is amazing. So first on the list, tomatoes. You can go ahead and get some tomatoes out as long as all the danger of frost has passed, which for the southern zones, 
I'm sure it has already. Um, for most part, it should, unless there's something super weird that happens, you guys should be all free and clear to go ahead and plant out all of your tomatoes. There's two different types of tomatoes that you can grow, the determinate or bush varieties, which will need some sort of support like a tomato cage. Um, they will give you all of their tomatoes at once. And then there's the vining tomatoes or the indeterminate which will need a trellis again to grow up. And we like to do cattle panel arches for those as well. Um, but as long as you have plenty of space for them to grow, they will keep growing and give you a whole bunch of tomatoes all season long. And you can even get some peppers out as well. So again, once the frost, last frost has happened, you can start planting your peppers. So whether it be bell peppers, hot peppers, um, sweet peppers, bananas, whatever you want to do, you can plant all of those peppers out right now by seed outside or by transplant. It's also a good time to be planting out those beans and continuing to do so. I like to plant my beans in succession planting so that way I will have a lot of plant, a lot of beans ready at different times and they're not all ready at once. So I do, again, I do a variety of bush beans and pole beans. So with pole beans, you will need some sort of trellis or support for them. Um, whereas bush beans, you can just grow them in any sort of container or pot and they will do amazing for you. And I like to have a variety of both types of beans. And again, I do it every couple weeks or so. So that way I always have some beans ready to pick and harvest. And it's time for one of my favorites, squash. I love zucchini. It is one of my favorites because it will give you so many zucchinis and you can make so many different unique things from them. I love it. I have so many different recipes. And also call back, if you don't have the app yet, make sure you download it because I have a whole bunch of different recipes too for zucchini in the app. And if you just go into the plant details for zucchini summer squash, um, you, you can go there, you click recipe and it'll drop you down to view all of the recipes that we have in the app. Cucumber is another great addition to your summer garden or upcoming summer. You can add it along any sort of trellis that you have and it will grow wild. You can grow all sorts of different varieties of slicing cucumbers or pickling cucumbers. There's a lot of amazing ones that you can grow. And there's even some patio varieties too that you can add that are little tiny mini ones and you can grow them on, even if you have a really small space, you can still be growing them. You can also be adding corn to your garden right now too. It is a great thing to add to any sort of garden and it's a really fun one too. So whenever I recommend corn, I do say make sure you plant plenty of it next to each other so that way you can make sure it all gets pollinated and uh, appropriately and it'll turn out amazing for you. If you haven't ever eaten corn fresh off of the stock before, oh my gosh, it's amazing. It tastes unlike any corn that you've ever had before. You definitely need to try it. And it's time to start planting out my favorite flowers, zinnias. I absolutely love them. They are so gorgeous. There's so many different unique varieties that you can grow with all sorts of different colors. They bring in all sorts of pollinators. And one thing that is amazing about them too is if you just let them grow, do their thing, Again, super easy to take care of and let them go to seed in the fall. They will drop their seeds down and in the springtime, they'll come up again without you having to plant them or do anything like that. Amazing. I love them. And the amount of pollinators they bring in will help your garden so much. I can't tell you enough good things about zinnias. So definitely plant those out. So that concludes our list. Again, it is not the be all and end all. There are still a lot of things that you can plant out right now and no matter where you are at. So make sure you check out the From Seed to Spoon app to see what else you can grow right now in your area and continue to grow throughout these upcoming months. I hope you all have a terrific April in your garden and let me know if you have any questions. Leave them in the comment section and make sure you follow us either on YouTube. We also have a TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all of that where we post daily updates and shorts on how everything's going in our garden and things that we're doing. We also have weekly workshops that we do too live on our YouTube channel every Tuesday at noon central time. So I hope to see you all there and join us and bring your questions because we always are answering all sorts of different questions during that live stream as well. I hope to see you all there. Bye.